Hello, my name is Keiko Hirayama. I'm a developer in Wolfram Alpha Scientific Content Group. Today, I'm exploring epidemic data for a novel coronavirus. The data is available in a Wolfram Data Repository. So let's first take a look what kind of data we have in a Wolfram Data Repository. I use Wolfram language function resource search and typed COVID-19, that's the name of the disease, and we found three datasets currently available in the Wolfram data repository. And in here, from here, I specifically pick one of the dataset called epidemic data for novel coronavirus. And this dataset includes daily updated epidemic data for novel coronavirus, including estimated case of novel coronavirus infection by country or region. And data is provided by Johns Hopkins University Center for Systems Science and Engineering team. And curated data is based on the data collections from World Health Organization, WHO, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, European CDC, China CDC, and so forth. And data set was prepared by importing and processing the CSV files and aligning to Wolfram language entries so that we can do additional computation and visualization using the Wolfram language functions. So the raw data is looking like this. Uh, they have province, state, country, region, coordinates, and the dates and values. And those country regions, uh, those are aligned to Wolfram language entities. And for this, I use the interpreter function uh, to find the alignment to country or administrative division entity type. So here, for example, I use interpreter specifying country ent entity type. And I type Australia, for instance, and I get the alignment to country entity. And these coordinates, latitude, longitude information, those are converted to geo position. And this geo position can be plugged into geographics uh, so that we can locate the geo position on the map. Additionally, these dates, points, list of dates, are converted to Wolfram language date object, and then it was used to create time series data. And what's inside time series data is the combination of date object and the value. And I use this time series to plot uh, them on the graph. It's looking like this. So let's actually retrieve the content so I obtain resource data, epidemic data for novel coronavirus. And data is looking like this. You get a nice uh, table format data set. And I call it epidemic data for now. And let's take a look what's the available properties. I retrieve the keys of this epidemic data. It looks like administrative division, country, geoposition, confirmed cases, recovered cases. There's those are available keys for this data set. So let's do some computation. Uh, we can map where virus infections are confirmed. So if for here, I uh, retrieved all geopositions that are reported in this data set and uh, map the locations using geographics function. And if you want to uh, do additional graphic visualization, we can also color countries by the latest confirmed cases. Here I retrieved latest confirmed case number grouped by countries and uh, calculate the total number and create the colored uh, geo uh, region value plot. Uh, also, we can create a bubble chart of the confirmed cases. Uh, here, I specifically pick the regions in China in this example and create a geo bubble chart of the confirmed cases. And I also use the manipulate function so that I can dynamically update the date. So the da data starting from January 22nd and goes 
all the way to February 13th, you see how the cases, uh, the number of the cases increased over time. Other thing we can do is to plot estimated confirmed cases in particular regions. In this example, I picked three major regions in China, including Hubei. And I get the time series data of the confirmed cases and plug it into date list plot. You get the nice, nice graph visualization. Also, you can use date list log plot to plot the values in log scale as well. Similarly, we can also plot estimated recovered cases and the number of deaths in particular region. I selected uh, Hubei, China in this case, and retrieved the time series data for recovered cases and the number of deaths reported. And once again, I used the date list log plot to map uh, to graph, make a graph of these two date points. And you see the uh, increased number of cases over the time, these two, three weeks. So those are the examples I have for this data set. Uh, if you're interested in exploring more on novel coronavirus, uh, there are two additional data sets available in the Wolfman Data Repository. One is about the genetic sequences for the coronavirus, and the other one is patient medical data for novel coronavirus. And I hope you find them useful. Thank you.